Hello, orchestrators. Welcome to another episode with Titan Node, the number one place to delegate your stake. Today, we will be talking about how to set up live peer monitoring. This tutorial is part two of setting up a live peer orchestrator, and we will be going through how to set up Prometheus and Grafana. In this video, we will be going through four steps. First, live peer configuration. Second, installing Prometheus. Third, installing Grafana. And fourth, monitoring your results. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do in this tutorial to set up our monitoring is to add the monitor flag to the launch node executable file that we created in the previous tutorial. So if we open up our folder and we found our launch node.bat, we can right click on that and edit. And we are going to add a new flag. You can add this anywhere you'd like. It doesn't matter which order it goes in. So we can go to the end and we're gonna put in the flag for dash monitor. Once we put in this flag, LivePeer will now track all the statistics and have it available for importing into another program. So we can go ahead and save this and exit out. Now, when you go ahead and launch your program, nothing will change, but we are going to use Prometheus to scrape the information from LivePeer, and then Grafana is going to display it. So now we'll move on to the next step, which is installing Prometheus. Also, if you need step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Prometheus and Grafana, you can go to the author that created this tutorial. If you go to your browser and go to our first link, links are in the description below, you can see that this is actually a guide provided by one of our orchestrators named Varies in Numers. I am not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it is the best I can do. Varies in Numers created this tutorial and gave us some templates on how to get us started. So you can go to this website here on his forum and follow the instructions as well. But we will be doing that in this video. So the first step is to install Prometheus. So we can go to the link for installing Prometheus. Links will be in the description below as well. We are going to download the Windows 64-bit version. And we can go ahead and save that to our desktop. We can minimize our browser and go ahead and extract our Prometheus program. Once we have our new folder, uh, you can now open it and make sure that all of our files are in here. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to download a configuration file so that we can connect to LivePeer, which is going to override this prometheus.yml file. So we can go back to our browser and go back to the example we have with our orchestrator. And we can also go ahead and click this example. Again, link is in the description below. Here we have our prometheus.yml file. We can go ahead and click raw. And we can save this file as. This file is going to override the prometheus.yml file. Once you go to your desktop and locate your folder, you can select all. And we can find our file that we are going to override. So we can simply select that and hit save. Yes, we want to override. You can also just open with a notepad and copy and paste over it as well. Let's go ahead and close this. And now we have our Prometheus program as well as our configuration file in this folder. The next thing we're going to do is download Grafana. So we can open up our browser and go ahead and download Grafana. Again, links are in the description below. For this example, we will be downloading the Windows version. So we can click Windows. And we can download the MSI and run the installer. We can save that onto our desktop. And go ahead and minimize this for now. We are now going to install Grafana through the installation package that we've just downloaded. So we can open that up. And it's just asking us to make sure that we are comfortable running this program so we can run anyway. We can go through the installation wizard. We can click next. We can accept the terms and conditions, hit next, 
We are going to install it in its default location. Hit next and go ahead and install. Once it has finished installing, we can hit finish and we have successfully installed Grafana. The next step is we are going to install the dashboards for LivePeer in Grafana. So we can go back to our guide for installing and we have an example here from this orchestrator as well on the dashboards we can use. So we can click on dashboards. Again, links are in the description. We are going to be downloading two dashboards today that I find the most useful. The first one is the livepeerpaymentsoverview.json. So we can open that, we can click raw, and we can save as. We can go ahead and put that on our desktop. And we can also grab another one, which we are going to be using the orchestrator overview with NVIDIA JSON. We can open that again, click raw and save that file as, and put that on our desktop. If we go back, there are a couple different versions. We can grab the NVIDIA GPU.json as well as just the orchestrator overview JSON. However, I find that the NVIDIA GPU dashboard does not have encoding and decoding metrics, which are pretty important. And those can be located under your task manager in Windows anyway. Today, we're just going to be doing the payments and the overview. We can now access our Grafana dashboard. The way we do that is we simply go up to our browser. The address to access Grafana is localhost port 3000. So let's put that in. Once we are here, we have access to our Grafana that's running on our machine. The default username for Grafana is username admin. And the password is admin as well. We can go ahead and log in. Now that we have logged into Grafana, we can now add our data source and our graphs. But before we do that, let's go ahead and run our node as well as Prometheus so that we can make sure that it's connecting properly. So let's quickly minimize this. We can go into our live peer folder and go ahead and launch our node. We can put in our passphrase. And now the node is running with our monitor flag as well. We can go ahead and minimize this and we can now open up and launch our Prometheus program. So we can open up the Prometheus folder and double click on prometheus.exe. Go ahead and allow the access. And the final message we should be seeing here is that the server is ready to receive web requests. So now that Prometheus is running, we can go ahead and minimize that. Those are the two programs that need to be running in order to receive your statistics. Let's go ahead and close this and head back to Grafana. Now that we're in Grafana, we can go ahead and add our first data source, which is Prometheus. You can click here, or we can just head to settings and click data sources. We can add a data source and we're going to select Prometheus. In here, it's going to ask us what is the URL of our data source, which is going to be our localhost port 9090. And once we've put that in, we can scroll down and hit save and test. Once we have done that, you can see that our data source has been saved and it is currently working. If it doesn't say it's working properly, then you do not have Prometheus running or you have misconfigured it. We can go ahead and hit back and we have that data source in here. Next, we are going to add live peer graphs that we had downloaded earlier. So we can go to the plus button and we can import a new graph. We can upload the JSON file that we had downloaded earlier and that was located on our desktop. We will start with the live peer payments. We can go ahead and hit open. And you can see now that it is allowing us to import this graph. So we can click import. And you can see now that we have some data and this new graph is in here. Now, obviously there's not much going on because we just launched our node, but let's go ahead and open up the second graph for our orchestrator overview. So again, we can go to import. We can upload a JSON file and grab the second one. Here, it will also ask us to select our data source. So we want to select Prometheus 
and hit import. And now we have our graph fully set up and waiting to receive streams and give us some data on how we are doing. Now that some time has passed, we can go ahead and look at our dashboard and see how well we are doing. You can see that at the top left, there is some projected daily income as well as some expected ETH payouts. Just a reminder though, the way we get paid out in LivePeer is by probabilistic micropayments. So this is not the amount that you're actually streamed or available for withdrawal. This is just simply the chances of you winning the next ETH payout, which is on the Explorer. So just keep that in mind. We also have the orchestrator. We have one orchestrator running with three streams and our utilization rate based on the amount of max sessions we set. We can see our history of our sessions as well as our transcoding scores and a couple of other metrics as we scroll down that are important to watch as time goes on just to see how you were doing and maybe some ways that you can improve by changing your configuration. That covers the orchestrator overview. We can also go back to general, the top left. We can go ahead and click our live peer payments overview. Here it will show us our expected ETH payout as well as the amount of tickets that we receive. We can also look back over time, say the last 24 hours, and see that we have a slow increase of tickets that we get paid for our transcoding work. The main thing down here is the winning tickets received. As you can see, this orchestrator has not won a ticket yet, so it has not been paid out. Again, there are some interesting different graphs here to show you how you're doing, but in the end, this is up for you to determine how well you are doing and keep track of things. The last thing I wanna cover is the GPU performance itself. In the guide for installing this, you can install the NVIDIA GPU dashboard, which gives you its RAM utilization and some of the temperatures and metrics. But I find the easiest way to see how well your GPU is doing and how much load it's under is if you just open up your task manager in the search bar on the bottom left, we can go ahead and open that. You can go into your performance area here, and if we maximize this, we can see that our GPU here is doing some work. Now we have this 3D GPU usage, that is for the recording software I'm doing, but the encoding and the decoding will often spike and change based on the amount of transcoding work you're doing on the network. This is also a useful tool if you're benchmarking because you can see how much GPU utilization for encoding versus decoding during your benchmark. So you can really max it out and see how well it does under peak performance. And that concludes the end of this tutorial. Now that you have all your graphs set up, you can now monitor how well you're doing, join the Discord, and ask questions and provide feedback for the rest of the community. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support Titan Node, you can go to titan-node.com slash delegate to stake your tokens with Titan Node. You earn Ethereum and Livepeer from delegating to the Titan Node orchestrator. Thank you for watching and have a great day.